the title of my presentation is an initial critical <clears throat> edition of the great text of the Pauline prologue in the Italian apparatus. Uh, I would like to begin by what is the Italian apparatus. The Italian apparatus, also known as Italiana, is best compilation of material that has been added to numerous surviving manuscripts of eggs, the general episode, and the Pauline letters. The most extensive from the EA include the prologue, the chapter list, which contain title and chapter divisions of each text with the short summaries, the argumenta, which are uh, relatively longer summaries of the contents of the each text, both the longer and shorter quotation lists, which are a series of tables listing scripture quotation, meaning mostly Hebrew Bible quotations, lecture lists, and some other miscellaneous <laughs> items. The name Eudarius is included as the EA's title in several manuscript, manuscripts, but little is known about the person associated with the name, mm -hmm. while the heading of the prologue to the Pauline episode in some manuscripts he notes Eutalius as the bishop of Sulca. Others present him as a deacon. Fonso then identified this Sulca as a locality in Sardinia versus the Gagnis, who viewed the place as a Sulci, assuming a corruption of Sulca, the name of an Egyptian town. Also, another name, Euangrius, appeared in the EA as a writer in Codex H, written 5th to 6th century Greek manuscript the earliest extent witness to the EA. Evangelius has been identified uh, Evangelius of Ponticus and Evangelius of Antioch, both of whom lived in the first century. Gunther Jones suggests that Eutalius might be nom nom the prima of Uchius, bishop of uh, Caesarea. To summarize, most scholars believe that the author of the apparatus is someone from the first century, with the main options being either Eutalius or Euangrius, or perhaps the name is uh, Sudonim. The other hand, Herman once then believed that Apparatus was from the seventh century based on the internal evidence from a confession of Eutalius discovered by colleague Uthmin in a monastery on Edwards. However, Bonstein's argument is rejected by most scholars due to the discovery of extant copies of the EA, such as some of the Gothic uh, manuscripts dating back to the first half of the fourth century, as well as Aramean manuscript from AD 396 and Josian manuscript from AD 399. This earlier version of the EA contradicted Bonstein's proposed seventh century date. Based on the earliest extant manuscript of the EA, dating back to the first half of the fourth century, almost certainly, the EA was compiled during this period. In addition, one may determine a terminus post poem for the EA by noting several references to Eusebius within the material itself. For instance, in his flow to the Pauline letters, Eutalius wrote, Oh. Oh, the Greek word is not show here, so <laughs> I read the translation. Uh, Italian wrote, I also considered it necessary to indicate briefly the period of time covered by the preaching of Paul by making a summary based on the chronological tables of Eusebius the disciples of Pamphilus. Therefore, it is not possible for the material to be dated earlier than Eusebius' work in the first century. Lorenzo Zaccani developed the first critical text of this materi material in 1698, utilizing nine manuscripts with the Greek manuscript 181 being his primary text. Despite the the reproduction of Zakagani's edition in works such as those by Andrea Scallen, Zach Pomien, and Herman Bernstein, 
No new critical edition of the EA has been published in roughly 300 years since Sakagami's work, while modern scholars have attempted to address ideological questions related to the EA, such as the identity and origin of the edition and original contents of the work, the lack of critical edition of the EA has added to the difficulty in resolving this mysterious definitively. As such, there is neither a uh, reliable critical text of the EA to make progress in understanding these issues. Louis Charles Willard surveyed more than 400 Greek biblical manuscripts and identified the various elements of apparatus present within them. Due to the discovery of additional manuscript containing the EA and the developments of the new method in the field of New Testament textual criticism, Zakagni's edition is no longer sufficient in terms of the manuscript foundation and the underlying methodology. The critical, uh, the, to create an initial critical edition of the EA for the Pauline epistle, I used the following 19 Greek manuscripts, which were copied between 10th century and 13th century from 81 to 2242 manuscript. Uh, three of these manuscripts are Katena manuscript, 619 written around the 984, and 6, uh, 1162 written uh, 11th century, include the EA with the commentaries of several church fathers, and 623 manuscript written around 1037 include a collection of sermons by John Chrysostom. Dr. Hugh, uh, Hugh Hutton graciously helped me to have access to the reconciliation file of the prologue of the Pauline letters in the EA that has been transcribed and reconciled precious, preciously as part of a larger project by the CNTTS and Dr. Simon Chris. The reconciliation were based on electronic file of William Kibis text and supplied by Dr. Simon Chris. In the process of creating an initial critic edition, priority is typically given to the internal evidence when there is division among manuscript even regarding the dating of the manuscript. Let's talk about the contents of the EA. The EA is divided into two volumes. The first contains the 13 Pauline epistle and second contains Acts and the seven Catholic epistles. Later, these two volumes were bound together into one volume. Eutalius located the Hebrews right after Second Thessalonians in order to Pauline letters, which is consistent with the arrangement found in Athanasius' list. The prologue of the Pauline letter is about 2,696 words in length and includes several historical and biographical details about the life of Paul. The prologue to Pauline epistle was written in a narrative form. Blankivis divide, <coughs> divided the prologue of the Pauline letter into two different genres. First, prologue Paraterem, which introduced the author and aimed to gain the reader's benevolence. And Second, Prologus and Tiren, which contains the work of Paul, such as a list of Paul Eutalius summarized of the Pauline 14 mm -hmm. letters and the chronicle of the preaching of Paul and the editorial notice. Now let's uh, move on to overview of the initial critical edition of the Pauline letter in the EA. As you can see in the table, uh, one student's edition shows difference in 13 words from Zakagani's edition. The 19 manuscripts I studied contained uh, variants readings in 854 words of the prologue to the Pauline letters. The resulting initial critic edition has different reading in 81 words versus Zakagani's edition. If Nobina Sakura, pronouns, and Mubobanu are not included, uh, 26 uh, words have been updated from Zakagani's edition. It is interesting to note that there are no major changes in Zakagani's first edition in pro Pauline prologue. However, significant feature of detail were discovered during the process. The first, the heading to the prologue to the Pauline letters, 
the heading to the plural to four line letters were transmitted in many different forms. Sakagni, following his main witness 181, printed the heading as follows Italius Episcopal, Sulcas Prologus Protasomenas Ton Decatesaron, Apostolo Paolo II, Hagio Apostolo. Sakagni did not use a letter abbreviation for the number. On the other hand, the Bonso then considered the following as a title, Prologus Eutalius Dicono, Prosta Menus, Tes, Bibilo, Ton, Epistolo, Paolo, Du, Apostolo. The heading in the 19th ministry could be divided into three groups. First, the title without the name of the mm -hmm. author. Second, the title with the author's name, Eutalius Diaconu. And third, the title with the author's name, Eutalius Episcopal Circus. Although the title probably was added by later hands, I think the shortest form among the first group, Prologus Paolo Apostolo, is closer to the earliest form of the title. Second, Nomina Sacra. Both Zakagni and Bonso then did not use Nomina Sacra in their printed editions. However, initial critical edition keeps Nomina Sacra where the manuscript shows it. Nomina Sacra appears in all the manuscripts that I studied, except the manuscript 1846. Interestingly, mm -hmm. the manuscripts are evenly divided into two groups regarding the Eutalia's quotation from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 1, Pius Aneku and Apo Apoleia as dead. This phenomenon leads me to reason that there were at least two, two different traditions of the EA and this for this part of the prologue. The manuscripts are grouped in some variants. Here are five examples. First, when Eutalius mentioned about Paul persecuting the church, he wrote many and grave were the deeds that he committed against the church. While group one read Ecclesia, group two and three read Eusebius. The second example, when explained about Paul's persecution on the church, Eutalius wrote, as both he himself confessed in his letters and as Luke Carroll in his second book. Group one finished with Heldu. However, group one, two, and three provide additional information, which is he mentioned the second book, which contains the Acts of the Apostle, for Luke compiled two volumes, the Gospel and the Acts of the Apostles. Three manuscripts of, of group one wrote the additional information in the margin. The third example, as he explained the conversion of Paul, Eutalius wrote, and the unspeakable plan and decision of the Lord kept him living among men until he had proclaimed the gospel <clears throat> to all nations. While group one and two keep he, he, aretos to curio, bole, group three omit the phrase. The first example when illustrating the Jews' anger against the church, which Paul once shared with Italian's words, or participate in their madness. Guru 1 and 2 have phenomenon des manias abdon. Guru 3 has transposition of the phrase phenomenon abdo des manias. The fifth example in some manuscripts that big portion of the EA Pauline prologue appeared twice. Once at the beginning of the manuscript before the biblical text, group A, And again, at the beginning of the text, Paul's letters, group B, at the end of the paragraph that mentions Paul's death, group B changed the text and added the travel of the Apostle Paul. Through these examples, we can assume that there were at least three different traditions of the EA during the 10th to 11th, 11th century. Let's move on to the first overview of the EA. Named Prun, the Italian prologue of Pauline's letters contain a passage that is likely not authentic, 
According to Charles Gillard, the passage includes the word play of Ophos's two names, Saul and Paul. The passage reads, having become true to his new name, for Saul indeed used to shake the entire church, but Paul had now ceased to uh, persecute and destroy the disciple, disciples of Christ. The word estalewe sounds similar to Stavros. The name deferred Apostle's conversion and means he was shaking the church. But the word pepaute sounds like Paulus, the name of, of, after his conversion, and means he had ceased to persecute. The passage appears in group one and two, but is omitted in group three. I choose to have the passage in the initial critical edition since group one and, and two embarrass the earlier manuscript. In addition, manuscript 80A presents a shorter version of the passage like this. The fifth, I would like to talk about Katenai. Three of the menu, uh, 19th manuscript are uh, Katena manuscript, 619A, 619B, 623, 1162A, and 1162B. If we regard the EA a, a composition from the first century, the EA exemplifies an early type of Katena manuscript and may foreshadow, foreshadow the develop of, developments of the later Katena manuscript with the full of biblical commentaries. In the prologue to the Pauline letters, Eutarius in the following text explain the structure and contents of his work in a way that reflect this Katena connection. He wrote that, so far, let this be said about <laughs> them as described in our epitome, but in the following, we will prefix to each letter a short exposition of the chapters, worked out by one of the wisest of our fathers, a Christ lover. Not only that, but by going over the reading of the text, we have with the scholarly method briefly indicated the accepted list of the divine testimonies and the most accurate division of the readings. This we will present just after this prologue. So in the Pauline episode, Eutarionus mentioned that the chapter summaries were from the work of unknown father, one of the wisest fathers, that means that a system of chapter or paragraph division had already been developed before the EA. But in the prologue to the Catholic letters and acts, Eutarius offered no reference to his chapter list or his short exposition of the chapters. Possibly, Eutarius himself developed a chapter division for the Catholic letters and acts, following the pattern he had systemized in the prologue to the Pauline letters. The three Katana manuscripts show Eutarius' system. For example, chapter division quotation list and lection list mentioned above in the quotation of Eutarius' uh, editorial remark. Although it is possible that Eutarius used the unknown father's work for his exposition of the chapters in the prologue to the Pauline letters, a comparative study of the commentaries in the EA with other church fathers' commentaries for example, John Chrysostom, Cyril of Alexandria, Origen, and Theodoret might have been identifying the unknown father. Oops. In conclusion, the goal of this project and of my uh, dissertation, I might add, will be to produce a new critical edition of the Greek text of the EA for the Pauline letters. Hopefully, the resulting new critical action will provide a better foundation for resolving <laughs> some of these issues related to the EA, such as those that Blomkist mentioned. The question of the authorship, including the question of the identity of the dedicatee and that of the unknown father who made the Kafalaya Kitori for the Pauline letters. Second, the question of which elements of the apparatus that are genuine. For example, that belong to the edition of Eutalius. Third, the question of how the biblical text was arranged by Eutalius. Fourth, the question of how the apparatus has applied the rhetorical 
method to the biblical text. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Much. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Please don't be offended by my question. Uh, I was just wondering regarding your hypertext that's so late. Don't you have any way to keep up the lines of earlier time frames? Yeah, good question. So, because is I started this project from six months ago and then somebody already uh, transcribed the reconciliation, so I need uh, the data. So that's why I started with this 10th century. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, any more questions? I wanted to ask about the manuscripts you were looking at which contain the manuscripts. So I was interested as to whether they have the same type of container or not. Mm -hmm. And it seems that 619 and 1162 do. But 623 we have in the catalog as a manuscript of extractable physicists. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if there's anything different about that manuscript that it had the Euclidiana as well as what came with a physicist selection. But maybe you haven't looked at that either. I, I didn't uh, study that many much. So our next two, uh, <laughs> research, I'm going to yeah building about and refer that to your cast. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. The, the manuscripts were listed like A and B. Oh. What what did that stand for? Yeah, so in the paper I mentioned about, about shortly, and then A and B is the same manuscript, but there is a, a, a prologue of the um, EA, is a front side in the, the described the prologue of the Italian apparatus in the front side, and then uh, the test of the X is going on. And the next time, before call and letters, there is a, again the Italian apparatus prologue is again appeared in the manuscript, the same manuscript, but first in front of prefer test in, in there. And then X test is between, and then before call and letter, the Italian apparatus prologue in the, there. So again, the appear too. Yeah, it's a lip, lip, oh, I, know. I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a duplicate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, duplicate. Thank you so much. You have included the middle school 81, right? 81. 81. Yes, yes. Sir. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's a difference. It, it doesn't have the chapter list. So the chapter text is the argument. Mm -hmm. And then uh, probably they were not part of the Italian mm -hmm. apparatus, etc. They were fused. Mm -hmm. I think the Syriac translation also lacks mm -hmm. that. So it, it suggests there was an older edition, mm -hmm. which was so. It, what is the Italian apparatus? Mm -hmm. like growing mm -hmm. with, with few, becoming fused. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an 81 manuscript is started maybe first Corinthians. The, the in front of the part is missing. So I just focus on the core of the Pauline letters. So I, I didn't do study detail about the, that. But I will do because I planning to writing a dissertation about that. So <laughs> thank you for so uh, thank you for your comments and I will deal with about more and this study. And you have the codex voice in the almost uh, a very good one in the fifth century. But it, it doesn't have so much of this material that is very important okay. in the history of the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is a colophon of the yes. yeah, 81 mm -hmm. manuscript is uh, very important to, to connecting the Italian apparatus. So there is a name is erased the Euangelius, mm -hmm. but there is erased that. Yeah. So I, I know that, but <laughs> I didn't <laughs> hear about many things. So. <laughs> Any more questions? So? Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to ask you a question. Do you have noticed uh, any um, overlap between 
the elements uh, of the Italian apparatus uh, and uh, the Catena school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, uh, if there are any elements from the Italian mm -hmm. apparatus that have been embedded, so mm -hmm. what into the Catena? Yeah, because the there is a, so, uh, three manuscripts uh, uh, contain in the Catena. Mm -hmm. So there is a using the. I assume that, but I didn't mm -hmm. specify the research of the chapter list. Mm -hmm. But I assume that because in the manuscript in front of there is mention of the chapter list and the summary of the chapter list and lecture mm -hmm. list. So that's why the manuscript, the three manuscript itself using the Eutalian's material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, assured that. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, any more questions? I suppose we. But thank you for your presentation. Mm -hmm.